I'm Yuha and I'm a hockey player here at USC. I will be going through some fixed concepts and examples with you this semester. And remember, just like on the ice, there's no such thing as luck in physics. Just keep your head up and work hard. Let's work through an example. In this problem, we need to get the resultant vector r, shown in blue, which is, if you follow the direction of these vectors, it's coming from the origin, so it's vector a plus vector b plus vector c. And uh, like I explained earlier, we need to get the individual components of all these vectors and then add them together to get the answer. So we don't know the individual components, but we indeed know the angles that these vectors make with the x-axis. So, for example, vector a. We know that the angle over here is 52 de 32 degrees, so the angle here, let's call this angle alpha, that is 58 degrees. So, uh, written in this way, so it's ax times i hat, the unit vector in x direction, plus ay times unit vector in y direction, the x components of the a vector over here is the magnitude of a times cosine alpha and then the uh, component in the y direction oops like this is the magnitude or the length of the vector times sine alpha j so what is the length of the vector a 72.4 meters times cosine 58 same with the y component 72.4 I'm missing a meter there times sine of the same angle and this is in the y direction and we get the following values 38.37 meters in the x direction I had and uh, 61.40 meters in the j direction. So now we know everything about the vector a, then uh, what about the vector b? So let's, here we have an imaginary x-axis or a line that is parallel to x-axis, that's all we need. Now we need to know how much is this angle in total. So that portion there is 36 and that's 180. So in total the uh, angle beta like this that's uh, 216 degrees. And uh, in the same way we can calculate the components for the B. What about C? Well, we don't explicitly have to calculate anything because we know that it's 17.8 meters in the negative y direction. So there's nothing in the j direction, the zero meters there, and then it's 17.8 downwards, so it's we go in the negative direction, so that's going to be minus 17.8 meters in the y direction, j hat. And now we can compile all these results into a table as follows. For example, for the vector a, 
we had the angle 58 degrees and then the x component we calculate to be 38.37 and the y component is 61.4 and the same thing can be done for the b i didn't explicitly do it but we evaluated the angle beta 216 degrees right there then we get the following values for the components minus 46.4 and minus 33.7 meters and then finally the sec vector c like we saw here it only has negative component the y direction minus 17.8 now if we tally all these components together so all the add up all the x components we get minus 7.99 meters which means that uh, we have to go minus 17.99 meters this way and then uh, what about the y components so adding all these together we get plus 9.92 meters so that is the y component of this r vector 9.92 meters and finally we can evaluate the length of this vector r so this comes from the Pythagorean theorem so it's the x component squared plus y component squared because here we have a right triangle with rx and ry as the short sides so put the numbers in rx minus 7.99 meters squared plus ry 9.92 meters squared we get with two significant digits digits or sorry three significant digits like we have here 12.7 meters With this information, we can also calculate the uh, angle theta that this uh, vector r makes with the x-axis. So uh, let's look at this small angle there, gamma. We have to go <laughs> in parts because uh, the tangent function itself would give uh, or, will gi or will give only the uh, the smaller angle. So uh, from this figure, tangent of angle gamma is the uh, y component divided by x component. We're only interested in the magnitudes or the length of those sides. And uh, from here, we can take the inverse tangent of this number. To solve for the gamma and we get about 51 degrees so this means that uh, the theta must be hundred and eighty degrees minus 51 which is hundred and twenty nine degrees My dog, get up.